Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Boulder Canyon here in Farming Simulator 19. We will hopefully be able to finish up our harvest today. I'm just going to bring that one onto there and tip it out. And I was just thinking I would do something about that bank over there. Maybe we'll level it out a little bit more. I'm not, I'm not really sure, but we do want to do something. But I can't do it at the moment because I have no money. I am minus $140 right now, which is not going to help us. I could either have it as a track going up here, but I'm constantly trying to drive down over this bit. And I am driving down over this bit, but it's a bit rough. So what we're going to want to do, I think, is either put something here to stop us from driving there or level it out. And I'm thinking put something there. So we could have like a, maybe put a, a wall or something around the lower edge so that we have got a marked boundary on the field. I think that could be quite a cool little thing to have on there. An, an actual solid boundary on the field. And then it, it's a clear mark to sort of show where the edge of the field is and what we've got to do next. I like this idea, I really do. So I'm, I'm thinking that that's the sort of thing that we're going to work towards. Right, I'm going to bring you over there, and you can stay running. We're going to watch the combine for a bit. We know what the baler is like. We've seen that many times. So we'll watch the combine a bit. We nearly finished the harvest. I do not regret having the AI vehicle extension do this the way that it's done it all across the field over here. I mean, yes, if we were just going to be bailing it up in straight lines directly behind the combine, I'd probably use the standard hired help to do it because it would have left a tidier job. But um, I'm all right with this. Next, what I'd like to do is I want to go to... Is it you? No, it's not you. That one there, I want to... That, that one's got to head back to the shop. And then we've got to get some of this. That one has got to go back to the shop. Yes. Okay. And that one there has got to go back to the shop. So they delivered our new rake and they're heading back off to the shop now. We've got quite a number of bales over there. We might just watch this one. Well, we'll watch this one go up to the end of the field. Then we will take off the grain. And then I'm thinking we will go and get the bale wrapper. And we will start wrapping some of those bales over there because, quite frankly, it's going to take a while. So that would be a good idea if we could just, like, get a bit of a start on doing that job. I think that would be a good idea. So let's go to you. We've got the old baler work in here. And I do like that you can actually see the crop coming up. It's coming in through the knives and everything in there. You can't see anything up here. The crop just kind of disappear at that point. But, yeah, it, it is good that you can see everything working. The internal gubbins of that machine, it's, it's, it's really good. And gubbins is the, the technical term. I, I needed to be onto this tractor over here, didn't I? Right. Let's go and unload the combine a minute. I'm, like, I'm not going to get to the combine before he um, stops. Nope. That's because I spent too long messing around. I, I got a little distracted by the, the, the tractor and the mower over there. Right, you start up and start driving along the field. There we go. Like that. I will drive alongside you. And then when we get down to the end and I have taken off all of the grain that this one has to offer, I will unhitch a trailer. We will get the bale wrapper on and we will head off to the silage field and start wrapping up those bales. That way, they will be there ready to collect, and we can seriously think about selling them. I don't know if we'll be selling them yet, though. I don't know what the price of silage is. I'll have to look at that. I'll go and check in a minute. Oops. I'm not very good at keep... Well, I, if I was to... I should use the cruise control, really. If, if I want to set a speed on this one, I really do need to be using the cruise control rather than anything else. So I'll bring the trailer over to here. That's out of the way there. We'll unhitch and we will go and get the bale wrapper. So I want to come down here. It's right there. I need to put something on that corner to stop me driving on the wrong side of that because I forget about it every time that I come down out of this field. I mean, yes, we are looking at building a track all the way across and the main track is not going to come down the side of that field. Although... 
I'm wondering if maybe it should. I'm wondering if maybe we should do a little bit of work right here so that the main track does come down through here. It'll cut the end of the field off ever so slightly, but overall I think that could be a good effect to go for. I don't think that's a bad thing to be looking at doing right there. And the other thing, of course, is going to be the leveling out of that bit right there. Needs to be smoothed off a little bit. And we can do, we'll do that next, uh, before we start the planting, I think. And then we can come back over and we, we can kind of uh, redo it all and, and make it look all, all wonderful and tickety-boo. Shouldn't be a problem, I don't think. Right. Blue wrap. Start going with the blue wrap. We will have to unhitch and come back round in a minute and, and do some more stuff. Um, silage prices. How are we doing with silage prices in the middle of the day today? 322! Yes, the price is coming down, so it's probably going to be a little bit lower than that by the time we finish. But 322 per thousand liters is well i mean I, my target is 250 so you get a thousand dollars per standard bale or two thousand dollars per bale that we make um 322 is absolutely wonderful that is a really really high price that's the kind of thing that we want to see so we'll be able to make good use of that that's going to give us a nice bit of cash coming off of this field here and we'll be able to use that. We can do a little bit of leveling work in the middle of the field there. We can do something down the end over there to mark the end. And we could also put in our new track. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to do that. Um, so we've got various options that will become available with the money that we can get from this. And at $2,000, well, in excess of $2,000 a bale, we're going to be doing very, very well indeed. That's, that is not something that is at all bad in any way, shape, or form. That is going to be absolutely wonderful. Um, what are we going to do with it? All right, we, we, we are going to make something out there. I think what we'll do is we will do the marking out of... Uh, we'll build a track along. We will... We'll also, once we've built the track, we will then have to replow a little bit of the field because there's a couple things that we're going to want to do with building that track. So we'll redo the field and we'll have to do that before we... I've got to stop doing that. Uh, we'll, rather than, um, yeah, we'll do that first and then after we've done that, then we will do the lime and the weed killer and, and all of those little jobs that we also want to do. So we've, we've got a bit of work ahead of us. That's fine. That's, that's absolutely fine. We, I got a feeling that we're going to do pretty well out of the next harvest anyway. I mean, we're, we're going to be keeping hold of the grain. And then we've got other things that we want to get as well. Possibly, well, we do want another sheep pen, but that's 180,000 because I'm determined to get the big sheep pen and not a small one. So that is going to end up costing us a little bit of money. And it could take us a while to actually get it. Now, we're up to 80% on our tank on the combine. This tractor over here has now started only doing short work because it's come up to the top end of the field up here. I will deal with that myself in a minute. Uh, we will actually finish off the field. I think we will do that manually. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to run down to the combine down here. I'm going to let it go up and finish this row, and then I'm just going to drive up alongside the trailer, and I'm going to empty it out myself. That way, we can leave the tractor up the top end, we can leave it hitched on, and we've got our Puma busy working at the moment. So here, I will let it just back up and do that bit. Then I will stop the hired help, bring you up along here. Uh, the home button to turn off the beacon, isn't it? Yeah. Right, and about out. I always forget turning off beacons, you know, the controls like that, because there's so many different keys that you use, and I am only using the keyboard for this. I don't use my steering wheel for this series. Um, so there's so many different keys, it's it easy, easy to forget sometimes, because they don't put everything in the tooltip either, right? You, you get the basic controls in the tooltips, but you definitely don't get everything in there. You just swing the combine round like that a bit. There. 
And then swing him round like that a little bit. There. And then back up a little bit like that. And then swing him round like this. That'll do. Right. I just need to check and make sure which direction it's going and I need to change that over. No, I don't. No, it wants that is that is the right side. It's already switched over. So it'll keep going on the same line that we've already got the combine working on. And I'll bring that into there. Press H. It's away. And right, all good. Okay, that's good. And you have just about finished doing that bit. So I'm going to press H on there. And I'm actually going to back you up over here if I can. Try and persuade that one to... That one's not going to drop off, is it? Right. I want that one out, so what I'll do is I'll go over here and I'll simply dump them like this, with three bales like that, and then I can start that one up again, switch over to the front mower and start that one up as well, and then we can start heading around like this. So I want to do pretty much a straight line up across first, like this. It's going to allow me to pick up the... So, yes, it's... Don't have access to the land is in reference to the mower rather than the baler. I, I, own, I own the land that the baler is, is busy rummaging around on. Now I can do this bit along here. And we'll do a couple passes along this top end. We may do three passes along this top end. Or, uh, like three or four, rather, rather than just two. Um, let's see how we're getting on with it. Yeah, I think we might end up doing twice up and twice back. It's very rough on that bit right there. There's one little bit right there that is, is extremely rough, and I'm not quite sure why. It doesn't really matter, though, because that's one part of the field that we're not going to be coming back and doing a great deal with in the near future. Once I've sold, uh, harvested, and sold all of the rest of those trees over there, this bit up here is going to be the kind of dedicated area for cows. And possibly the pigs will be up here as well. The sheep and the chickens are going to be down at the lower end of the farm. But up this end of the farm, this is where we're going to have the cows and probably the pigs up here as well. Although the pigs may be elsewhere. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to put the pigs just yet. I'll have to see. Let's bring that one round over here. And just get the last little bit. It's not actually very much left on the ground here, really. So two, three passes was enough to just about take everything. There's a little bit of grass lying there. I'm not going to worry about that bit in the corner. Quite frankly, it doesn't matter. But I've now tidied up the whole of the end of the field up here. And I'm feeling particularly pleased with that. It's that bit right there. Look, so there's some rough ground right there. And that's just what we kind of didn't quite get right when we were doing all of that leveling work back when we were trying to remove all of the stumps from this part of the field in future that won't be an issue we will have obviously there's still going to be some things that we're going to have difficulties with and some things that we're going to struggle with right and lift that one up like that and i'm gonna try and do this just straight backwards and forwards like this if I can so then I'll lower it down and start it up and just one run up across here like this and I'm going to keep stopping and lifting the mower so that I don't accidentally cut any grass that goes right up against that stone which would end up causing us some problems then back up like this take the next stripe and this is going to be pretty quick. I will take out a couple of stripes next to the big stone over on the other side. I'm not going to have to remove all that much stuff from it, though. Because it, it'll do most of the turning on there. And I don't think there's all that much there on the lower side of it. There, there is a few passes, but I think there's more up here than there is down there. And then lift again and bring that back. Helper F has a nearly full grain tank. 
We'll probably go down... Well, we will have to because we're not going to have enough space in the trailer left to be able to finish that bit. So we'll deal with that in a minute. I won't do it just yet. I'm going to bring you down here like this and then bring it down like that. And just take out one line there. Pick up that one. We spin round. And then I can come back up this way. Actually, you know what? I'm going to back down and get another, get a line off of this end of it. This would be the best place to go for it. If I bring that in here like this and then take a straight pass up through there, that's a lot better. There, like that. Because that's, that's cutting off a little bit more off the top end of that one, which is what I'd want to do anyway. And that's gathering up all of the grass. Let's take This here is taking all of the rest that we need to pick up. So that's everything there. And then I can come down here. I can do another pass exactly the same as what I'd just done. And this time, that should remove most of the grass that is going to be here in the way of the big stone. And then I can bring that one in around there. Gently does it and press H so that it starts. And now the hired help will go and just finish that job off. So then I can go up here. Bring this one back over to you. I've got no bale on there at the moment. So I can go and grab a bale as I'm heading down across the field. Probably not the best way to go about grabbing bales quite like that. There we go. I can pick up that bale there and I can run it down across the field. Wraps nice and fast, so we're not going to have to wait for anything to happen as we head down across here. I can unload that one there like that. And just to be on the safe side, I will grab this bale from here. No, I won't. Apparently I'm going to miss that bale entirely. So now I've got to go pick that bale up because otherwise the, bale, the, the baling tractor will come down and get hung up on it. And we really, really don't want that to happen. Now, if I bring this over here and I unhitch like that, it does keep going with the wrapping. It'll let that go and finish before it does anything else. I'm going to go down and I'm going to get the trailer. I'm not sure how much grain we've got in the trailer. I suspect that it is nearly full. If there is a little bit, what we could do is run over to the combine... Grab a bit of grain from the combine. Like that. Okay, I've got five, six percent in here, which is about ten percent, roughly, from the combine. We're going on the percentages that we can get from both the vehicles. So I can take a bit of grain out of the combine. Because it'll start pouring in and then it'll do a little reverse up while it starts uh, getting ready to start combining anyway. There, it reverses up like that. And then it starts away. And it's not going to do anything else because we are now full. So he's down to 88%. That's going to allow him to at least travel up across the field a little bit. It may be enough for him to get to the other end. Um, but at least he's going to let him keep going just for a little bit. We will come down here and unload this trailer load. And then we can head back across the field and go and get the next bit. Um, yeah, I think we will smooth out a little bit of that down there. Because, see, we've got this straight line that comes into this one right here on this side and then so and if we're putting a track down the side of that field that would make a lot of sense it would definitely make a lot of sense to be able to sort of have both of them working together on that I like that I, I like the idea of it whether or not it's going to work in practice is another thing we'll have to wait and see combine is now full and didn't quite get to the end of the row. It didn't quite, wasn't quite enough there to make it. We will finish this harvest. It, the, the finish of the harvest is imminent. We, we've, we've got moments left on the harvest. And then once that's done, we'll be able to see exactly how much grain we get from here. And then we're going to be looking at doing all of the bales. So we do that again. There, he backs up a little bit and... And he starts out again and he's down to 80%. So I'm going to let him turn around and then I'm going to follow him up across the field. So I'm going to bring this one in around here like this. That one is going, to, he's going to straighten up there. He generally ignores anything behind him when he's doing his turning. So if there's something behind him, he just gets hung up on it rather than stopping and waiting for him to move out of the way. Which is not necessarily the best thing. It'll, it'll, it reads in front of it, but it doesn't read behind it anywhere. So if, if there is something stuck behind it, 
then that's going to end up causing problems. I'll bring this up to here. We will have in our trailer... I don't think we're going to reach 4,000 litres. I was just trying to fill, fill up the front part of the trailer. It doesn't quite reach 4,000 litres. Well, not on that little short bit. If we had a longer run, then it probably would have reached the 4,000 litres. It's amazing how much faster that tractor travels when it's going downhill, isn't it? Really makes a significant difference. Significance? Significant. Uh, 3927. Right, this trailer can stop right here. That tractor is... Gonna not cause trouble. Oh, that's good. That's good. I'm glad he's not being a troublemaker. And we've got a, little, a few little tiny bits here. I don't know what's up the top end of the field. We'll have to wait and see. That bale's not ready to come off yet. So I want to go onto here. And we've got three bales to do down here. There's a few bales up. I'm going to go and get the ones up the top first. So I can dump you just there like that. And then we're going to run up and we're going to get the bales at the top. We cannot wrap straw bales. That one will stay there, but I'm not going to pick that one up. When we come up and we gather up all the straw and uh, all of the bales anywhere, I'm not going to go and gather that bale. I'm just going to leave it exactly where it is. I wanted to come up here and I wanted to get these. I probably could have wrapped one as I came up the hill. That would have been a little bit more um, efficient use of my time. That's all right. It's not like we're going to have to go for multiple trips with our trailer anyway, and we've got to come up to this side of the field, so it doesn't really matter. I'll drop this one here, and then I'll swing round to the other side of them. Uh, so there's that one right there. And then I will swing round over here, and I'll grab the first of those bales. Right there. And get you in there like that. And... Right, I think what we'll do is if I bring that one back there, and then reverse this one up like that, there, I'm going to back you up a little bit more. There. Drop that bale there. And then I can just nudge in between these two with it. You wouldn't do this in real life. Right? You would damage your wrapper if you were going to do that in real life. Well, I suppose you could be really, really careful with it. And you possibly get one bit out on the end over there. But generally speaking, I don't think it would be a good idea. Drop you down there like that and go and get the next bale. And because I've gone and twisted... Oh, no, we managed to get that one. That's all right. Okay. Uh, bring you over and around and wiggle you about. I've got a bale dump there in the way. You, Mr. Combine, you're doing great. You will finish up everything in there. All I've got left is one little bit of grass over here that we can go and get. So I can start that one up and... Start the baler up like that. And I'll bring this one in through here with some very bad driving going right up through the middle of the grass instead of to one side of it. This is probably not the best way to go about this. I got 6,000 litres of grass in there at the moment. Can I make one more full bale? I don't think we've got 2,000 litres of grass just on this little bit right here. But... We're going to go a long way towards it. Now, the, the great thing is that we do have a whole load of grass there in amongst the trees. So I can go and just finish off the bale. Now, the thing is, if I finish off this bale with grass, um, it will come out as grass. But if I start another one, that will come out as grass as well. And this is the bit that you've got to be really careful of. And it's the bit that I don't really want to do. So do I... Like I've got 6,000 litres right here. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here. I'm going to just grab a little bit more grass down here. But I'm going to actually use straw to finish off this bale. Just one little bit of straw to finish off the bale. The last 1,500 litres. Well, yeah, it would be about 1,500 litres. I've got a little bit of stuff here that we can mow. Like that. There's a couple bits. Okay, so it's 1,500 litres that I want to do there. So switch over and we'll lift the mower up. And then all I need to do is just bring that one round like that. And I want to get 1,000 litres of straw. Wherever I get it, I need 1,000 litres of straw. And if, you know what? Let me switch over to the combine a minute. Because combining is finished. We're done. We're, we're, we're actually finished with the combining. So let me just start that and take out the last tiny little section right there. So there we've got a complete field. 
that is now all done it is all harvested and we'll be able to see how much grain we've got from that as soon as we empty out the bit that's in the trailer over here um it was 3900 liters so it's about 5000 liters in there roughly speaking and that's already down to 317 that's dropping very fast it's dropped five dollars per thousand liters already uh, we've got 53,000 litres of barley in there, plus another five. So we've got roughly 58,000 litres in total from our harvest. Now, I'm going to leave the combine right there for a minute. And I want to go back to this one. And I just want... All I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up straw on this corner. So that when we come through with the rake, it's just going to bypass this corner completely. And it, it's... The only reason I'm doing it like this is just going to make it a little tiny bit easier... Um, just to, like, keep the, the lines going when I come to do the outside edges of this field. So I will grab that little bit right there. There we go. So the next bale is going to be straw rather than grass. We're not cheating that way. And also, um, because I said that I wanted to do... You know, actually, that can stay just like that. I said that I wanted all of this to be... Um, nope, I don't want to do that. I want to switch to that one and switch that one off. Um... I wanted this to, like, we want to try and get an accurate representation. So I've, I've kind of roughly got the right number of bales coming off of both of the fields. Because um, we did accidentally switch one over to straw. So I had to bale up a bit of straw to use that. Um, but we've got a straw bale from it. So that one should be fine. But that, that shouldn't come into anything at all and, and not cause us any issues. So I'm going to stop there with that one a second. And I'm going to go back over this way to you. You are done there, so I can drop that one down. And we've got just enough time, I think, to finish off all of the wrapping. So I will grab that one right there and then head across here. We've got three bales to do up here, and there's another eight or nine bales down the bottom there. And just go to there like that. And then bring you over this way. There we go. And then swing it around like this. And we get that one. And then we can go and get those down at the bottom. We're then going to want to get the trailer. So that we can bring these up and sell them. Although these aren't the important ones to start with. We're, the important ones is going to be bailing up the straw. But this, interestingly, is how much is straw at the moment. It's 58 per thousand liters on there now i'm not planning to keep the straw from the field this first time round. i'm just going to sell it i don't think that we need to keep it we're not buying cows yet um and those would be the ones that we want the straw for we definitely can't buy pigs because we don't have the equipment yet to deal with them and we're not able to give them the full balanced diet that they need and corn is in particular is the big thing but we don't have a corn header and we don't have a planter for corn either. So I don't want to be branching out into pigs just yet. That's going to be one of the last things that we do. Um, so cows would be the first one that we need to do. And remember, we do have to get one large pen of each type of animal in order to be able to complete the series. That is our target, is a large pen of each type of animal. And we're not allowed to buy in any feed for the animals at all. That is the rules that we set ourselves. So... We've got to be able to do that. One way or another, we've got to be able to get the pigs and get the cows and, and get all of it. Now, we haven't quite, we haven't got enough land yet. Yeah, we're clearing all of those trees and that's going to give us a bigger piece of grass up here. But that's all the arable we've got. And I'm not planning to change the arable section. Not yet. This is, It's going to stay as grass up on this one. And we're probably just, while we're doing the harvest on the lower bit, we will keep doing the, the grass harvest the way that we've been doing it for a little while. Um, but also, I suppose once we do have this big field here all set up, we will at least then be able to start seriously considering the cows. Cows are almost all grass. And you can even make the TMR without having to have any arable at all. So we don't need arable for the cows. The only thing that you do need for the cows is straw. I think in the base game, you do suffer a penalty to their comfort if you don't have um, any straw in the pen. You certainly used to. You used to lose 5% if you didn't have any straw um, for them to sleep on. In seasons, that is no longer the case because you can... 
if you put straw in, you get manure out, and if you put if you don't put straw in, you get slurry out. You don't actually get a comfort penalty on the cows themselves if you're not using straw. So with seasons, you do not need any arable whatsoever. You can run your cows at 100% without any straw. I think though we do lose. Let's let's have a look a minute and see if it actually states in here about. So we want to go to advanced knowledge animals cows right here. Um, reproduction speed, speed, slow product milk manure. It doesn't say and it th this total mixed ration. Two hay, one straw. Fill the rest with silage. Makes for the perfect mix uh, for the perfect ratio. We know about that. Uh, but does it? Act, it doesn't tell us what the percentages are. Tells you the percentages when you've bought the cows, chaff. Straw can be loaded in. You can put it. In. It, it, it's it's not telling me here. It's not to improved yield. Thus, crops farming basics. It doesn't tell me here. Production recap. Roots, straw, silage, and TMR right there. No. Pigs and chickens. It's not giving me the percentages. Shop prices, no. I'm disappointed with this. I was hoping that it would give me the percentages. What if I go and look? It's not going to do that in here either, is it? If you go and look in the animal pens, it doesn't tell you in here either. So I've got no way of actually seeing in game until I actually go and buy the cattle pen to see what it's going to do. I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed with that. Right, anyway, I have run out of time for today. We're going to do this annoying little bit here in... Well, no, we can't yet. We still need to... Um, we, we, we're going to do the straw next. We need to get the straw raked and then baled and gotten rid of. And then once we've done that bit, then we can see about um, putting in a track along here and doing some other bits as well. The first thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to... It, well, actually, I want to go and wash this. Uh, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get that trailer hooked on and we're going to go and get the bales and we're going to sell them. But we'll have to do that next time. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.